Oh, hey, Alex! Uh, that's cool that you have, uh... That's cool that you have Zoom. Um... Nice! Okay, nice. And, uh, welcome! Sorry, I wasn't really saying much. Um... <coughs> nice! Uh, yeah, if you want to come in, um, let me know and I'll, um, I'll give the ID. If that's okay with the rest of you, that is. Mm hmm mm hmm Well, Josh, how did that, uh, what is it? The 24-hour flight go or whatever it was? What? The long haul that you did? Yep. How did that go? It's, it's successful. It's up on YouTube. Let me stand up while this plane is still, like, starting. I've got about maybe a minute, maybe 30 seconds. This thing How just takes you... forever. Wait, if you were using ATC, how did you, uh, when you were sleeping, how was it uh, identifying to the ATC? Uh, it's called PF3. It doesn't, I don't have to do anything. Really? It, it, it handles comms automatically from the fucking ground. Nice! But isn't that the one that you were having issues with, where it said like line up and wait and then no, you No, that was that was Pro ATCX, but the reason they the reason they uh, state that I was having issues was because the simulator runway data was out of date and needed to be updated to twenty you know to nineteen oh two ARAC. And while I updated it, Stupid Traffic Global has its own scenery. Oh that places it with so I I went and I I disabled the airport facility because Traffic 360 had that too. I disabled that as well in that facility. So basically, I disabled uh, the Traffic Global. And uh, now I have you know, the real. The ID is 261515131 er I'd probably put that in chat if I because it's. The only I reason why um, <laughs> I could, I'm just being only, nasty the, now. <laughs> the, the, I'm just being the mean. only reason, the only reason, the only the only way I was able to get in, like I couldn't get in when you gave it to me the other day. Really? I couldn't. I don't shit. What the fuck was it? So based now, I had to. Like I didn't remember the ID, so I put it in. I had it in my history. Oh. You. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually flying the airplane now with its own built-in autopilot. Well, as, as you should. You, sh you should fly the plane with its built-in autopilot for most of The only planes that you should use with the FS Trap autopilot to say that the King Air, the Diablo and stuff like that, or the... Uh, Add-on airplane that does it has four, its own custom model Like, we're, five, we're one, talking about one, the, four, you know, Gus and I was talking five, about the quality wings, 787, that would be, the, that's what the FSCHAMP autopilot was designed for, which Gus may want to email FD. FST developer with the bugs that he found with the Tramp autopilot and the QW. Whoops. I, um... 
you know, freeway and then having that site go down, etc. I imagine the reason why it's by airport by airport is because the sort of damn developers can get as much money as they possibly can because these airports are pretty damn expensive. Mm-hmm. And when some airports disappear. <laughs> yeah, and especially they, when they have, uh, when you got like the bigger airports like JFK and like Karen. Orlando and stuff like that that have the jetways and stuff. And, like, well, we added, I don't know if it's there, but we added uh, two years ago a uh, terminal. It is the international terminal. I was just there two years ago. Yeah, they, there's probably something that has. Um, and our runways that. changed last year. I don't recognize any of them now. Yeah. So. It's funny because uh, ever since I took off, uh, Project Fly is giving me the go around message. What? Did Did you add your Did you add a runway, Jesse? Uh, it was already both on the starting and on the ending thing. Because I'm not having that, I didn't have that issue when I created the direct route, it was on route and everything. Yeah, it seemed, when you add a runway via FS trap, like the, the like manual uh, runway, like you can go to use the flight plan, it, Ah, you're right. Because I'm also set to go around. It's also telling me to go around as well. Uh, okay. Yeah, I mean, it's. Yeah. I think it's. Well, I mean, that's a. Part of that is a project flight bug, anyway. Oh. That they're trying to Oh, I'm picking up speed, fine. Like that's a proceed, 200, 10,000, Oh, that, that makes sense then, okay. 10,437. Lucky, party, party, party. It hasn't gone down, it's still at 11, it's still at 311 nautical miles, what the hell? Come on. Project Fly does have a bit of a delay, I think, when it comes to, like, the altitude, like, it, 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 it takes a couple of seconds for it to update itself. I've had a way. I've had a waypoint that like made me turn around once. What? And and and, and, and uh, Project Fly. Like it said, you know, 311, 212, 313. Wait a minute, oh. It made me go like 10 mm -hmm. miles in the other direction, turn around, and came back. Oh no, mine. Uh, mine. When I added the uh, star once, um, I was almost there, and then it made me turn around. I think I had to go like 70 miles out of my way. And then, and then it turned around again? Yeah. I'm like, okay? That's because, of, yeah, it's because, um, like, you're supposed to be flying these, like, you know, this, to be, like, your stars and stuff. You're supposed to be flying these with ATC. Yeah. And so, like, ATC would have, you know, told you to fly the star at a specific time and, you know, stuff like that. Right. I don't even know how to, and I don't even know how to tell how far for, how far I am from the next waypoint. No way to do that. Yeah, no, there's no way to do that. Actually, I've seen it on the top half of the screen. Sometimes, I will see my numbers change. I'll see the waypoint, and then I'll see like seven nautical miles, six, five, four, three, two. But it's rare that I will, you know, see that. Well, you got, kind of got to know what you're looking for, and then you know, yeah, at half the time. Uh, <laughs> it's with object. With screen, you know, screen review reading everything in the window because it's all in one window. So. Yeah, half the time it doesn't show up. Well, sometimes it shows, sometimes it doesn't. It, yeah. It probably always shows, but it's you have to look, you have to know where you're going. Look. And it might not always be in the same place the whole time, or something. It, uh, a lot of times it's in this like. The heading, altitude, speed, and climb rate are pretty much in the same place. Pretty sure everything's in the same place or like very close to where the is all the time. Because like, sometimes at the top half of the screen I'll see like, you know, waypoint and then I'll see the number of miles and just go down. I'm like, cool. And then I can never find it when I want it. Hmm. Okay. 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 Okay.
You guys know that you can get a uh, flight following with uh, MSATC, so you know, at least you can. Oh really? I forgot how to well it's probably too late now, but yeah, I forgot how to no, do that. No, it's not you can do it in, in, in midair, you know, in the air. How do I do that again? Um, you have to bring up the ATC panel with the uh, with grave accent. Uh, that much I remember. <laughs> And then you okay. usually hit one and then one. Ah. And then, and then, and then what will it do? It just follows you. It just follows you. Like well, wait a minute. I just brought up the MSATC window, and I'm not seeing any documentation in the or not nothing in the uh, in the. Uh, ATC window when I was CR. It's probably MVDA being an ass. Like it, 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 it just stops there. Let me try that again. I mean, object have to work as ATC window and then do. Oh, this, yeah. you know, it would help actually if I were in object review mode, which I'm not. Object review. Oops. There we go. Nope. Let me Because, I mean, that would actually be great. I forgot about that. I think that only works if I'm in the air, though, correct? Or once I'm in the air, correct? It'll work, uh... Yeah, I mean, like, it, when, if you're in the air and you're doing IFR, yeah, then, but if Which you're, one? if you're, um... Oh, here we go. Oh, you got it to work, uh, Jesse? Mm -hmm. Oh, because I'm not seeing anything in my... It's up. What option is it? One, usually. Oh, let's see. Is it, is it one for you, Jesse? Nah, do do flat following. You're you're too late for IFR clearance right now. So when I hit one, nothing happens here. Close, close. Here we go. 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 Here Radar contract, radar contact, flight level 249er. Shit, uh, you made a little bit of MSX pilot while well, it did squawk. Change the squawk code. Copy zero. Oh, you got your ATC to work? I mean, your, your uh, OCR to work? Mine's not working right now. I think I hit one like a couple of times and then it said uh, something 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 request follow Oh never mind, you don't have to uh, keep forgetting Oh there we go uh, MSAPC changing the squawk code You can find a flag and say it doesn't squawk code I'm getting squawk 1301. Do I have to do that? No, just no, reply it to it. Squawk 4301. 4301. Your project fly should say that. Okay. So I acknowledged it. And it says my, my altimeter is 2992. Oh, 2,573. Yeah, it changed. I forgot. Do I need? Do I need to? No. Oh, whoops. Yes, I do. So now, what's it gonna do? As I'm moving around, it's gonna tell me. Yeah, it's gonna now? tell you. It's gonna tell you that you're. You know what? Like it's gonna tell you to go to the center. And... Yeah. Right now, I'm connected to that thing, Anchorage. Okay. Yeah. I. Yeah. 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 Because we're in Alaska. Yeah. So For... No. Um. I landed in. I thought I landed. I thought we landed in Canada, didn't we? 
No, I think this is in Anchorage somewhere. Yeah, yeah, this is CYUB and, and uh, you know, like, you know, all, all this stuff is, all, all these places, like Fairbanks, all this stuff is in Alaska. I, I thought it was Canada too, because it's sea water. Yeah, yeah, because my, my friend looked up the coach, he goes, uh, you're heading to Canada. I'm like, I don't think so. Canada is usually YY sometimes. Yeah, because you because it goes from Dawson to Fairbanks. And uh, Alex, if that was you, hello. I think you might need to check your uh, divide your uh, what is that thing called? Uh, the thing you're gonna be uh going through. So basically, no. I'm actually using my uh, iPhone. Oh, hello. Hello. Nice to finally meet you. Yeah, finally been forever <laughs> well being that I don't know you at all um, it's the first time well I just hadn't gotten around that stuff so. ah so now Here's Sarah what, is. what you do is you just chill and then until they you kind of have to listen out yeah so that when they tell you nah, 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 you can <laughs> like reply to it yeah, and the flight plan will take care of it for me, so. Mm hmm. I'll listen for I've an actually hour got you on two devices, so if you hear a little bit of an echo. You actually sound like a friend of mine. Um. Um. Yeah, you actually sound like a friend of mine. I don't want to say his name over the air. Okay. <laughs> I'm protective like I'm protective like that. Besides, he's an amateur radio operator, so yeah. Oh, shut up, you stupid progress bar updates. <laughs> I'm going to turn the other device on so there's not an echo. I can actually hear you on the iPhone. You're a little quiet. What'd you say? No, he said that he can hear us through the iPhone, so he's going to turn off another one of his devices. You could actually hear him? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He's talking. You, you you just have too much airplane on your ear. Just take up some of that airplane noise. <laughs> <laughs> well, remember, I'm partially deafened in the right ear, so that yeah, you, 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 not you, good for that. Not good for a pilot. Kind of doesn't help. <laughs> I'll deal with it. I'll cope. I'm sure you'll figure it out eventually. I've been coping for six uh, years, seven years, so. By the way, Josh, can you only request follow once you're in the air, or can you request it even while you're on ground? No, I think you can request it in the air. Oh, okay. That works. I wonder if there have ever been pilots that have ever requested to follow from the real control tower. Well, yeah, there, there, there have been. I mean, I've, I've, you I've seen it. Usually pilots don't need to. No, they really don't need to. Well, I mean, the only time they would do it is in VFR. True. Oh, good. Okay. Actually, I wonder if it's acquired in VFR. Might be. Yeah. So Alex, I looked up uh, my nearest uh, squadron, uh, except I don't like the location of their meetings. Oh yeah, where is it? Up near uh, Cheyenne. Okay. And the three hour meeting every Monday. Uh, two and a half hour me meeting every Monday. Urgh. Hey, that's, well, that's not, not as bad as a freaking science time. 6.30 to 9 p.m. I'm normally in, I'm normally laying down by 9. I take my sleep aid at 8. <laughs> oh, it's not that big of a deal. Make, make a fun time. Yeah, I guess. And it's, and it's usually fun. I mean, I have yet to go to a boring similar Because I'm used to the ham club meetings where no one volunteers no one wants to help anybody well at least here anyway I, I'm hoping it gets better um, but I've been it to some will. camp club meetings where yeah 
Hey, Zoom, how you doing? I'm not Zooming anymore. I heard, are you okay? Yep, limp, limp, fine. <laughs> yeah, I, I can understand that. But the town was really, really small. You know, everyone found out about my accident, unfortunately, I think the day that it happened. It's never fun when you have to. Oh, shut up! I remember. Zoom. Uh, I remember there was a Lego class that I volunteered at for six months. Nobody would help me with anything. <laughs> and all I was trying to do was help them. Oh, jeez. So, if I want to. How much do you pay for jokes? If I want to do this and. You know, like, it's going on and. I pay. Well, not the way yeah, I'm doing it. Yeah, but. If. Nah, yeah, no, if you, if you, if like, the free plan is, like, you know, It's like good. A, like a, it's good. This, but yeah, but if we, if we had this kind of, like, me, Jesse, you know, you and a couple other people. Yeah, then you like, will need to do that. It yeah, is 15 a month, I think. Yeah, and you can, you can have bad. up to 100 participants. <laughs> well, Which, that, that's not going to happen. Yeah, I, <laughs> I think it'd get a little crowded if we did Well, that crowd. everyone would be yeah. muted uh, if that were the case. I'm actually holding a class for uh, this company that I work for on the 9th of March, and I'm like, okay, if 100 people show up to that, that'll be nice. Um, yeah, you'll actually get the intended, uh, you know, design of Zoom. <laughs> Oh darn, I forgot what center I just contacted just now. I got told to contact someone else. Whoops. Oopsies. Don't you hit uh, two? To switch? One. Or oh, was it one? Oh yeah, it is one, it is one. I don't know if you got told yet to contact them, I did. No. Oh, you I don't even know oh, where I am. So. Oh, that's right, I think I left before you. You did, you left uh, me in the yeah, dust. Yeah, you did. And my takeoff today was just horrible again. Yeah, I was watching, but it wasn't bad. Yeah. Definitely seen worse. Yeah, yesterday. <laughs> At least you didn't die on the runway. Gus's takeoffs <laughs> are just, oh man. They're just as smooth as butter, as chocolate. Oh, oh except for the one where the plane is headed to go 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> well, I guess we're not... 40, 30, 10. I think that's when he finally throttled down. I guess we're not going anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think that was the QW. And, uh, yeah, he got a... It was fly. It was trying to fly it like a Cessna. <laughs> wow. That's probably because he got to change his aircraft. He so. did. <laughs> Yeah. And yesterday uh, I bounced. Did you hear the landing yesterday? No. But I, I completely I, missed it because the stream went offline uh, before I could get back on it. Oh, you were there last night then? Oh. I, I finally, uh, Restream gave me a, because apparently, uh, the Streaming to your Facebook profile is actually supposed to be free on Ustream right now, but apparently there's a bug, so Kelly gave me uh, basically 30 days of free Facebook access until, because she's like, oh, we should have the, we should have the problem resolved, you know, by, by March, so. Okay. I can wait. I mean, Sweet. I'm patient, I can wait. Well, you know, I wanted to, you know, alert her, alert them to the fact that it, the Facebook access wasn't showing up on my profile when it was supposed to be free. So, you know, now I, you know, I'm, uh... At least I, you know I, it's I, not something you did wrong, it's just... I, I, I literally streamed that entire long haul, that 11 hour long haul oh on Facebook, and, uh, and... Yeah, I, Don't worry, guys, that ding-dong that you heard wasn't my plane, that was my phone. I didn't hear yeah, it. Yeah, I'm kind of starting to get familiar with your sound effects, I'm guessing. 
that, I didn't hear I mean, it, so yeah, don't worry about that, it. That, that 11 hour flight, like that whole time was, like oh. face, Facebook didn't even drop. Like, wow. wow, and YouTube does. I mean, yeah. I can barely, I cannot, I, I, I do try to listen to you on YouTube, but... And I can't tell Wendy to go to Facebook because, well, um, I don't think she Twitch has it. Is better, like, I, uh, no. I, no, no, uh, this is a friend of ours that I, that we met, that I met two years ago? Yeah, uh, Twitch is no better than Josh. Twitch is actually even less accessible than Facebook and YouTube as far as streaming stuff. Well, actually, well, if you can log in... Yeah, like once you log in, you can. Uh, once you log in, which uh, you know, I I I actually don't know how to log out right now. Um, and it, it stays log. I stay logged in. You know, if you can stay logged in, then it it's doable. Like chat is doable and everything. Um, but, Still though, uh, we know the problem. Actually, it's an aria thing that they turned that they disabled. Right. Yeah. Um, they they have an accessibility. I sent an accessibility. They have an accessibility uh, support thingy. You know, if you log in, you can send them one. Right? I did. I'm like, I tried, yeah. and they didn't get it. They were like, "Well, oh well, um, we're making changes to the website, so just stay tuned." What? They 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 don't know. Well, they don't even know the first thing about it because the the panels, like you can. I can get, I can, um, see broadcaster panels, you know, that make that are accessible, like there's some, 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 some extensions that, that are accessible, but I can't configure them with crap. If I want to make a schedule for my Twitch page, you know, I just can't do it. So, uh, mm -hmm. YouTube, I schedule my streams on, you know, if I want to schedule a flight or something, I try I to schedule, schedule mine on, on the phone. Yeah, 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 I set YouTube. mine up. I set mine up that way. I haven't really done a live stream yet, and I'm waiting until I reach 400 subscribers. Well, I think I have 37, but I don't really stream live much on Twitch anyway. Well, just so you know, I'm one of them. Oh, thank you! I got, I, I only, I got, uh, I only got 114. I, I used to have like 100 and like 20, but I, I think when I had that cold for like a month, I wasn't doing anything. Like that. You had what I had. I mean, you you still, yeah. The cough for me, I think, uh, finally went away like <coughs> three weeks ago. Well, yeah. I mean, I, I had a cold and then like it went away for a couple of weeks. Then I had the flu. And <laughs> oh no, I had the cold. I uh, got sick on my birthday. Got well, and then the day well, and then the day of my marathon stream, I woke up and felt nauseous, but didn't really think anything of it. Woke up the next day, and that was it. I ended up with stomach flu for about two days. Mm -hmm. Well, you remember that. Mm -hmm. Last time, I caught stomach flu nearly killed me. Oh, jeez. Mm -hmm. Like, um, so I'm, on a, I'm on, like, a blood center. Oh. My heart. So, like, uh, I almost bled to death. Jeez. Oh, uh, well, yeah, I mean, because the flu, like, it thins your blood anyway, because you're, <coughs> you're, 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 you can't really take, you can't really intake stuff, you can't really do anything, so. I, in my case, I mean, I could barely eat. Like, oh. I couldn't even take, I couldn't even take freaking pills. Oh. I was in the hospital for a week. I mean, I, I think I was. I had to go to the damn emergency room, like, a couple, uh, two weeks ago to get just fluids because I couldn't keep them down normally. Jeez. Yeah. That sucks. Yeah, I was in the hospital for seven days. Hmm. Yeah, the few hours I was there in October, that was just a nightmare. They were nice to me, but... Uh. Except the I guy who was giving me the, um, the EKG. No, 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 hold still, hold still. I can't... Well, you need to breathe. I am breathing. I'm wheezing here. No, 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 no. Don't hold her hand. I hate that. 
I well, really in all fairness, they did need me to stop shaking, but I couldn't. My body just was... I didn't have control over my body. They got what yeah. they could. Heart rate of about 117, a little fast. My blood well, pressure was I mean, 157 over 109. Yeah, a little high. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's gonna happen. Uh, but we think we know what the problem is, or was, is probably gonna be for the rest of my life, which... Well, really, there's nothing much I can do about it, but relax, <laughs> and don't have a panic attack. That's all we can do. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm going to end up in the hospital again, quite literally. Almost ended up there two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. My uh, mom's cousin has the same issue. And it hurts. We have to be very, very careful. It hurts. I mean, I told my mom, I said, I feel like I'm going to die. Well, she has these... Actually... Turns out, well, my sister has them, my mom has them, I think uh, someone else in my family has it. Um, so it's hereditary. It is, but um, society, I think, is getting these now because, I mean, society is so fast now, but it hurts. I'm like, ow! I had a little bit yesterday, but they, it went away. I'm like, alright, cool. I just kind of breathe deeply, and I'm like, okay, I'm feeling okay. Well, that's great. I'm Not glad really. that you're able to get around. Well... I was dying, I was officially dying in the park in here for three years ago. So. Oh, jeez. But I've been keeping a journal of, you know, I'm going to show my, uh, I'm going to show my doctor next week. So. So, I made a little adjustment. You guys here be okay with me now? Uh, mm -hmm. you're still a little quiet, at least to me anyway. My plane's actually not that loud. Lucky, hard to register. Hard to register. Lucky. Is that or maybe you have to clean your ears? Maybe you, no. a, maybe you have a 737 buried in your ear somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I told you, go to the ER and tell them to put some peroxide in your ear. Oh, the last time I had that done was in 2012, and it hurt. They're like, you're going to feel pressure, okay. What? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, they like shove it deep down. There. No, oh, it was like this instrument, this other instrument they used, like this jet of like water and that's I'm like, ah, ah. It, it, yeah, it's so they can clean, clean it. And, and it, my it sister saw it come out. She goes, ew. I got a message on Messenger that apparently there's snow on the Vegas Strip. What? Uh, hold on. Uh. Oh man, I don't have my um, radio, or else I wait a minute. Yeah, I do. On. Somebody sent me. Ah, uh, I think I got the same message. Uh, where's my radio at? I don't know anybody there. So oh, here it is. Uh. <laughs> One six two five five zero, I think, is the frequency. Where? Well. Wait. My radio's dead, so that's Ooh, not gonna work. Wait, where did the message come from? Hold on, I heard it go. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Where's I my doggone charger? Oh, that's Slack. Oh, who? Hold on. Who, uh. Hold on, I'm looking. Oh, uh, you, uh, you guys are on Slack? Well, it's a, it's a business. Is it the. Is it our boss? Let me see. According there can't be the snow on the strip. Fox, that was yesterday. According to the local Fox affiliate, uh, Sarah Lawami is experiencing snow right now. Apparently there's snow on the Vegas Strip. Apparently it was sent at 405. Michael sent it. I see it. Uh, I don't see it. Where is it? No, you won't. <laughs> You should go to the strips, uh, Sarah. No. I'm, get some of I'm actually get surprised, period. That would be a silly. 
some of that nice uh, snow. I'd probably throw it in a ball. I just hope that nobody peed in it or stepped in it or... Yeah. Now you're getting great. <laughs> Let's see something here. Oh, holy crap! My window's cold! Really cold! <laughs> As it should be. Uh, <laughs> uh, I don't know whether you'll be getting your package tonight. I don't think I will. <laughs> we, uh, 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 I'm not going to go by this girl's <laughs> house. <laughs> yeah. Unless they already Actually, brought it. Probably like I'm just glad uh, I'm just glad I'm not doing any solo flights today. I don't think I would. Actually, I don't really think they'd let me. Google. Oh crap! I forgot my thing was off. I don't think they'd let me. What do you think, Alex? Like What's if I had invented the technology? Uh, yeah. Probably not. <laughs> I know if I was. <laughs> you probably would stop me. No, you're not going anywhere. Is it snowing in Las Vegas right now? <laughs> you and your plane are grounded for the day. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I don't know what the hell uh, this thing is saying because it's saying right now it's 46 degrees in Vegas, but with the wind chill, it's 39 degrees and it's not snowing. Um, so sure. I don't know what the heck is going on over there. Well, my, my radio's dead, weird. so I can't really, uh... <laughs> weather is a very weird thing here. Oh, wait! Uh, I can pull up the airport's ATIS. Hold on. Zero. Contact Edmonton Center on 134.65. <laughs> Man, I was glad I had MCE up at one time. When one, I three, four, I had the sky up because it was zero. 35 degrees Fahrenheit and friggin' MCE. Oh. oh, I'm in Edmonton. Oh, you already got told to change? Yep, I'm in Edmonton right now. Oh, so that's what I'm wanna so that's what I must have changed to. Wait, Edmonton's in That's in Canada. Canada. That yeah, that 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 there that's in Yeah, so you're flying into Canada. You've already gone into Canada or, or going into Canada. Can you also do that with uh, like RC4 and stuff? Like, can you ask for follows or just. No, break I don't really think so. Especially with these short flights. Probably not. Like. The only way, you know, I need to, I need to check out for ATCX and see, because, like, that's the only, uh, ATC thing that will work on these very short flights like this. Mm. And, and then there's ATC, like, RC4 and PF3 won't work. The waypoints are, you know, it's too, uh, keep, oh, there's a problem with this flight plan, you know, again, it's too short. It's like, three or, three or less flight, uh, Three or less waypoints in a flight plan. There's, there's issues with it. Hmm. What's a flight plan? <laughs> what's a flight? What's a flight plan? No, I said a flight plan. Uh. Oh. <laughs> actually, actually, Alex. Sorry, Josh. I, was, I just, I just wanted to pick on you a little bit. Actually, have you actually have you ever have you actually gone flying with the air patrol and stuff or no? Hey, check this oh, out, yes. you guys. Yes. Well, Alex, you won't be able to see it, but check this out, you guys. That is my ATIS right now. Uh, yeah, I've flown with the uh, civil air patrol. On the it's pretty bad. Hmm. So is it snowing over there or what? It says No, not that. 
wind from the north at uh, 360 degrees at uh, 15 miles an hour. Visibility is 10 miles. The sky conditions mostly clear. Temperature is 45.0. Dew point is at 9.0. Relative yeah, humidity is at 22%. Smells. My pressure altimeter is at 30 point whatever that was. 30.05? Oh, no wonder I'm hurting. And we're at cycle 21, whatever that is. Oh, the air X cycle. Yeah. I don't think it's snowing. Me well, neither. It can't be at 45. Maybe frozen rain, but well, it's not raining yeah. either. Well, the thing is, is that sometimes what happens is the air gets so cold above it that it actually doesn't affect the ground. I've seen that. What kind of flights do you do on uh, civil, civil air, uh, you know, civil air missions? Uh, is that uh, what? Well, we do air aerial photography. Oh, okay. Uh, we do uh, disaster relief stuff. One time we were swapping planes and I went off a mission. Like what? What? Like did when you when you signed up for them? Did you get like a, a specific like a consistent job, or is it you kind of like all over the place? Well, it's a volunteer organization, so you don't get paid or anything. You yeah. Just do. But hey, <laughs> having that on your resume well, must be interesting. I mean, having that on your resume, yeah. Or their bite's fine. They all ask, what the heck is the air control? Oh. Yeah, there was a police officer actually <coughs> that uh, told me about it two years ago, and I just kind of put it on my mind oh, okay. Yeah, I'll do it's that. A great, it's a great thing. I mean, you'll get to fly and do all sorts of things. I mean, but I can't show up to every single meeting. I mean, that's... You don't have to. Oh. Yeah, I just wish the area they had it in is... Well, I just wish it were a little better, but okay. Whatever. Well, I have to drive an hour and a half to go to mine. So. Oh. Yeah, mine's at uh, some Cheyenne, uh, North Las Vegas airport. Except, uh, except like every few weeks where it's at some other location which is not in the best area of town. Well, to be fair, uh, the airport that I go to is in a pretty bad area. Yeah, so is the one that that we meet at, so or that they that they do meet at anyway. Ugh. I went to school in that area, it's uh... I don't know why they pick such bad locations, but they do. I don't know. Why can't they have it in a park? <laughs> or why can't they have it at, like, McCarran? the International Airport? Or, or hell, or even at, like, McCarran or something. Yeah, that would be nice. Unless McCarran said no. Well, that's possible. Yeah, it's possible, but 
Which very well could happen. Uh, usually we fly like 172s and 182s. We don't have too many jumbo jets. Uh, we have one hundred seventy two still exist? I thought those were older. Well, they are. Ah, you're geeing at us, Josh. Uh, I know, right? <laughs> I, 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 no, I mean, I guess you know they're, they're still used today in like training and you know these kind of animations. Actually, we just got a new Cessna about two years ago. Hmm. It was a uh, Cessna one seventy two that had, had a brand new engine. Oh. Uh, and within the first month we had somebody landed and broke the nose. Oh, damn. Sorry, I, uh, I I didn't mean to do that. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah, there's... you you you've seen my landings. Yeah, I didn't really mean to do that. Nobody nobody uh, nobody would come forward. Oh no! I bet all of you got punished there. <laughs> oh, yeah, we got chewed out pretty good. <laughs> what happened, Sarah? Nobody wanted to play the new plane. No, someone no. broke. <laughs> somebody broke the nose we on. Yes. Oops. Off the new plane? Yeah. They were they were uh, doing we were doing some O ride in Sugar Valley and, uh, and we missed the you know the little there's like a little mountain pass up there. Mm-hmm. And uh, they missed the little strip, so they when they came back around they were already low. Oops. Hmm. So oh. when they landed the second time, they had too much uh, ground speed and broke the nose wheel. Oh. I bet you though, if they came forward, uh, I don't know what their punishment would have been. I wouldn't want to know. Ah. Uh. Well, let's just say it wasn't free. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> Oh no, that'd be horrible. I come to one of the, my first meetings or whatever, and that happens. I didn't. No. Uh. Yeah. What a what a good first impression. Well, thankfully I don't have to worry about that. I just handle the new game. Now, if I do end up inventing that technology, I would have to worry about that. Sorry. Yeah, I don't know about inventing technology to, uh, I mean, I think, especially based on, like, how, uh, FMCs and stuff work, that's, hey, I think that's gonna be interesting. I'm not, uh, I'm not going to, uh, give up just yet. You never know. Maybe, maybe you'll figure out some other use for it. Maybe. I mean, you never know. You just never know. It's always been my dream. Like when I was eight, I, I, I've always like, I've always wanted to fly. I mean, I fly as a passenger, but and, and here's the ironic thing: I hate flying. Passenger wise. Yes. I hate flying. But you figure if maybe you have control. I might not hate it so much. I see where you're going with that. Have you ever gone to actually get behind the controls of a plane, uh, Alex? I have, yes. Oh! I've the Cessna 172 and 180. Nice! And I've also flown a... Uh, oh. oh! I was about to say, a real one? Oh. Wow! Oh. Yikes! I will have to have experience in flight up and 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 
sir, if you were in the Silver Air Patrol, you could get to play around with simulators and maybe fly an actual plane in real life. Maybe. Oh, yeah. And if you do calm like me, you could do it from the air. You'd be the flight observer. Oh, nice. I mean, I love radio. I love anything to do with radio, although I have already been told um, by fellow hams that I do need to slow down a bit, but... Well, you'll be alright, because in Civil Air Patrol, it's not quite as strict as far as, like, that sort of thing is concerned, because most of it's broadcast on digital frequencies now, so... Oh, wow. You don't have to worry about it. No, but I mean, if I speak too fast, that would be an issue still. Well, I don't know, because some of the new EF Johnson radios that they use are very weird. I actually need to get well myself a new radio. <laughs> Mine works, but it's not... It has a hard time receiving in the cold. I can hear fine, I can send fine. But it doesn't oh, yeah. really help if I can't receive. <laughs> Problem, not the radio, so. It's every repeater that I've been on, and we even tried it over Simplex. Hmm. Oh, okay, not gonna work. I mean, it works. I just hear everyone sounding like frying bacon. <laughs> Sarah, are you sure that you don't have bacon on the brain? No. Oh. Or bacon well, in your ears? Maybe. It's a good thing. It's a good thing to have. Bacon. It's just not a good thing to have your brain naked. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> still, I guess I think I'm still over Edmonton or something. Yeah, I just got asked to switch over to Anchorage Center twice. Eh? For some odd okay. reason. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, first of all, a lady told me to switch over to Anchorage Center. I switched over, a guy answered, then I got again asked to uh, switch to another Anchorage Center. And then another guy answered. Huh. Okay. <laughs> there must be two Anchorage airports. No, the, the, there's uh, those ARTCC centers that basically control like, between airports. And there's like a billion of the same Anchorage Center, Anchorage Center. There's like five or six Anchorage Centers, just like Jeez. five different. Oh, okay, that's why there's so many at our airport. Yeah. Because there is, there is about a hundred for a here at the airport, but that's where, most of, uh, that's where some of the regional flights go. Yeah, yeah. So there's like, probably no, like, there's probably no other, like, regional flights, so everybody can get all that. Ah, 45 nautical miles away. Well, maybe not. Because of my, uh, well, my sit and star, but yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm at 16,000 feet. I've been the whole time. Yay! I don't know why Simbrake put me that low, but alright, whatever. <laughs> oh, and I'm only going 377 knots, uh, ground speed. Well, I, I, I really, hard to fly, I really wish that they would put in the actual speed, because your ground speed is, I mean, that's your actual speed, but like, that's I'm not more used to seeing that. Speed, like, well, it is your actual speed, but like, that's not actual knots. It's, it's like out. My indicated airspeed is... Uh, I can't see it. Oh, I'm in the wrong view. No, no, I'm looking at... Ah, I'm in the wrong... Hang on. Wait, what? Oh. I'm in the wrong... Oh, I'm actually leveled this time. Wow, nice. Well, I mean, 315 knots, so I'm going 315 knots uh, is my, gra is my uh, indicated speed. But you're, yes, and Project Fly, you know, while you're at like 16,000 feet, Project Fly, because of like ground elevation, says that you're like 
16,030. Actually, yesterday, I was going at 315 knots, and uh, that was my indicated airspeed, and I think I had, must have had one heck of a tailwind because I was at 30,000 feet and going 500, um, or 498 to 500 uh, knots. I'm like, um, ground speed. I'm like, um, okay. That's, that, that's not, that's kind of high for a 737, if that's what the plan was. Well, not, not really. Because, I've seen Delta planes still that that fast. I have too. Oh, okay. Um, okay. Southwest, I think I was going at around 510, 515, 520 up to yeah. Baltimore. And I did uh, miles, not I knots. Did five Well, there's about uh, at least ten of them that fly out of our airport every day. Open the FedEx app. Open the FedEx app. Your package has been suspended. Your package will be delivered now till October 31st. 2019. Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> well, Jesse, you may want to listen to my flight up in my stream later today. It's going to be uh, Columbus to Miami. Thanks to Ooh. I wonder if we're going to get the weird lady. Uh, oh, no, wait, never mind. That was RC4. It's <laughs> oh, still in transit. Wow. <laughs> The lady, you know, she wore that something. She has her nose plugged. Contact Miami Santa. At <laughs> three, four, five, point, five, two. What? <laughs> so, she sounds like the Australian version of my uh, speech synthesizer for my phone. <laughs> <laughs> I wish that, uh, I wish that, uh, FS Pax was out for P3D so I could get it. Oh, that'd be nice. Have, have you know, flight attendants and shit on. I'm, and I'm flying with a full uh, passenger thing, by the way. I don't know how that would be the flight attendant on his, but he one time like, actually had full flight attendants in everything. That's, yeah, that was it, your plane. That's, uh, like they were actually. Yeah, yeah, that that was it. Your plane, like the safety announcements and stuff. Yeah, um, I guess you know I had those, I had those I'm videos too. I'm slowing it's down. It's. Oh, I'm descending. Okay, cool. Uh, but how come I haven't been asked to? Uh, I haven't been asked to. Oh, but I'm taking a different route than you are, so. I think Sarah's taking the fuel efficient route. I think I am actually. <coughs> I'll be I'll, I'll be very that. interested when the when the project fly uh, dispatcher comes out because you can actually choose which route you want to take. Whether you want it to have be more fuel fuel efficient, whether you want it to be scenic, or whether you want it to be you know, the fastest route. Yeah, Sarah's gonna probably choose the scenic route every time. Yeah, we'll get there in about 10 hours. No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be the fastest route that, uh, that that I can get, because remember, I hate flying, so... <laughs> yeah, we'll get, we'll get a, a, a trip from Vegas to Miami in 20 hours. Why well, so long? Yeah, we're gonna go by the Grand Canyon. <laughs> we're gonna go by <laughs> no, that'd be more like you, Jesse, I think. <laughs> 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 I hope I wasn't asked to uh, identify or acknowledge. I didn't hear I, anything, so. I really wish that there was a few uh, ERJ 145 because, like, literally on Premier, all of the freaking flights that are, that are going out of, like, all the USA airports, like, you know, at least in my rank, uh, it's like all the ERJs and, uh, Emperor 170s. 
Sheesh, I've never flown in a freaking Ember before. I guess I've been very unlucky. No, you probably have been very been. lucky. Every time I fly 737, 747, 727, 737. I flew a, I think I flew in a uh, uh, Coronado once. Coronado. Whatever. That's, 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 a, that's a simulator manufacturer. That's, I don't think that's a real manufacturer. Like, uh, of, of actual real life planes. Um. Uh, yeah, it is. It is? Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah, Sarah got to fly in a puddle jumper once. That was fun. <laughs> that was fun. I thought we were gonna die. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually very, I'm actually very jealous of you. You got to find a puddle jumper. You got to find a chopper. Well, I let's. N well, yeah, but remember, I had to go to the hospital, so um, in the in the puddle jumper, so <laughs> it wasn't for me, luckily. If you go to Maryland, I mean, if that chopper flies still available, then now that I'm, you know. Into the whole simming thing. Matter of fact, I'm going to go to the How come I haven't been asked to be. How come I haven't been um, asked to switch uh, frequencies yet? That's weird. Probably, I don't know. They, they, they Should I just hit one to be sure? Refuel. Yeah, that's You'll know if you oh, cool. don't need it because you'll have it. You'll hear the menu pop up for the Oh. Oh, yep. There it went. <laughs> Alright, let's Trying to get sleep at night. I know. That's I know. Uh, night, I know. Brandon lives near Fort Hood. Like, uh, the base out there. Mm. Um, the Air it's Force Base bad. for us is at Nellis, wherever that is. I've been there once. It's really not bad at night. It's just in the daytime. <laughs> Great. I got a pee. Well, at least you're lucky. You have a Q too. Yes, exactly. <laughs> oh! Uh, <laughs> oh, Jesse! Mm. I gotta pee! Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's the. Yeah, yeah. You wanna tell that story? Yeah, that's what the guy I'm said. I'm focusing on. I'm focusing on landing. I, I don't have time to tell no stories. That's what the guy said when he took off on the roller coaster. Well, okay, start at the beginning. <laughs> Basically, uh, we were in line. We went to the New York, <coughs> New York Hotel. And we went to ride on this thing called the Big Apple. So, well, <laughs> we're in line, whatever, me and Sarah and her friend, we're talking, whatever. And we hear this guy say something. I didn't know what he had said, neither did Sarah. And she and her friend's like, oh, you should have uh, thought about that before you got in the car. <laughs> and Sarah's like, uh, what did he say? And, it is, and Sarah Spring goes, oh, he just said that he had to go pee. And I'm wow. like, oh, no, I hope he's able to walk me. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So now it's an inside joke between the two of us. I gotta pee! <laughs> Hilarious. Well, now, now you know. And he said it loud, too. Right? And in his oh. really high falsetto, I gotta pee! I mean, it's just this... <laughs> <laughs> Ridiculously high falsetto, or maybe that was just his voice. I don't know. Oh, I'm descending quite <laughs> rapidly. Why did he just use this little boy bird? I forgot the altitude of this doggone airport. Ugh. Oh well, uh, I'm just gonna are, guess. You know when the, when the autopilot goes off and you have to. Remember, my autopilot sometimes off. turns off like 2,000 feet above where I need to, where it normally would. Yeah. Not if you're using the uh, actual autopilot on the plane. I haven't had that fail yet. Oh. It's well, never failed well, if, yet. Well, if you guys have the latest version of FST... I like, do. He, he is, um... Every time that a new version comes out, he's revamping how that autopilot turns off at, like, the FS 
cab on it turns off. Like his new version, he you know made it so that it turns up. You know, he's trying to calculate the best, like the elevation, like minus like a couple feet to you know give you enough time to land. Yeah, 7.2. Oh, Sarah had uh, a storm. Storm. Say again? <laughs> you heard of a gentle storm? A gentle what? Stormy, gentle storm. No, yeah, it, uh, is that a thunderstorm or rainstorm or something? Man. was great before Annette. I like your, I like it after Annette a little better. Wait, uh, who is it now? I didn't know she left. Is it Tarja? Is it, uh, Taria was, was before Annette. Tarja was the first one. And her voice yeah. was just like chocolate. Man, just the vowels. I loved them. You know she's got solo stuff. I heard her version of her walking in the air. It's really good. A Amy Lee, I might have been of, has... She came out with a solo album last year, like, cover songs, like, she did, like, piano versions, like, right Yeah, that was pretty cool. Yeah. But, my favorite was the Wants me to keep like sing. I, I haven't done it so I haven't done it at all. Is that is is that version of My Immortal like out? Like did, did she? Did she, did she, did she did I think so. I think you can find it on YouTube. I don't remember what the video was called, but somebody somebody took it from the audience. So the sound quality isn't the best. Oh. Uh, no, no. I, mean, I, I just wonder if they released it officially, like on music services and whatnot. It would be great if they did, though. Well, yeah. I mean, I have a I have a karaoke track, but I uh, got it customized and muted out like the drums and everything, like uh, in the uh, where the bridge is, because I'm like, no need for that. Mm -mm. Uh, no, I've been alone. I've been alone all along, and then the drums come in. I'm like, no need for that. So I well, muted no, all that I, out I, and created I, 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 an acoustic you version. Like, do, do you, what do you just edit? Edit the. Uh... Huh. I muted it out on the website, and I, it took me a little while to do it, because the, it's kind of not accessible, but I just used my ears, adjusted volumes accordingly, and it sounds okay. 2,580. Man, I'm descending fast. But that's okay. The, uh... Yeah! What is it? Oh, is that like a website you get karaoke tracks from? Yeah, karaokeversion.com. Uh. They're getting better. Um, I remember when I first got them, I'm like, ugh. But, yeah, I've been... They're they're actually getting really, really good. I haven't not released anything in like three years, four years now. I saw all your all your videos. <clears throat> yeah, but look for me on Spotify. You ought to write your own music. Well, I could. I actually in my head I have an arrangement of a common manual that I want to write down and give to a girls choir. Well, go for it. Can't write. Well, I have nothing to write with. What the? You don't need anything to write with. Huh? Why am I bumping? Wait a minute! I didn't hear my autopilot go off. Uh, sync rate. Whoa! Sync rate? Oh boy! You may want to hit an NBA. 
Hang on, I've got it. Oh no! I'm climbing. Uh, hang on. Uh, let's see. Uh, okay, I think we're good now. Zero feet. And he's like, oh, I'm gonna try and manually take off. So like, he does the pitch, and like he, he cuts to uh, does the power up, and takes off. So he went like sixty-four thousand. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Why am I going up to what the? All right, let me just. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. I'll just go like that. That guy is hilarious. With the oh, shit my God. Yes, he is. I don't think I've ever laughed so hard before in my life. I wish I could go on like, the server where he is. Right? You know, it was actually funny. One time I was flying, and my dad was in the back seat. Uh, the okay. We'll count that as a landing. Let's see how bad that was. I heard it. But my autopilot never. Uh... It went off. You probably there's probably no sound for it in this freeway. There is. I heard it, but uh, I hit the ground right as it went off. What? No, that that no, that's happened. That 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 will happen with this. This this airport is like 1,000 feet above the damn ground yeah. sea level, so that's, that's, that's which makes it a little uh, hard. Uh, I shouldn't be moving. Why am I showing? Oh no no, never mind. All right, let's see. Flight 66 heading level three. Flight 66 heading at 14,000 feet now. Block time, an hour 11 minutes. Landing rate is minus 3,000. Oh damn, that sucks. Oh, you're in the. It sounds like you're in the pits of hell, Sarah. My, I think mine so. was uh, mine was like negative eight hundred or something. <laughs> the 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 long haul, man. That the long haul I got was negative ninety eight fpm. That oh, was amazing. That sweet. Was amazing. Nice. That pretty good. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no,